Hello. 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 Welcome to Friday Night Quarantine Comedy Club. I'm John Luke Roberts. And I'm Josie Long. And may I say, Josie, up until the point when you said the wrong name, you did that absolutely brilliantly. I loved it. Thank you. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, one of these days um, we'll have a, a live show. <laughs> today I did a, no, not today. Yesterday I did a Twitch stream of playing chess. Get out of the way, Johnny. <laughs> I did a Twitch stream of playing chess and I hated it so much. I had a panic attack afterwards. Really? Yeah. Uh, how did you do in the chess game? I lost twice. Oh, no. Um, you've got a cupboard open in the back and it's distracting me. Oh, yeah. Johnny. It's a ghost. That's Johnny Donahoe. Hello, Johnny Donahoe. Then half of our house band. Should we introduce the other half of the house band? Yeah. Please, welcome to your screens. Who's third? Hey, hey, hey. 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 Johnny and the Baptist. Yeah. Lovely to be here. Operating at a remote five second delay. Oh, yeah. (laughs) How was your week, John Luke Roberts? Roberts? My week. What? They're the hosts. We always do this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, Paddy, I don't. We, we introduce you, Paddy. Johnny just sneaks in whatever yeah. and starts to try and chat. I get bored. I know. Because it's not about me enough. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Paddy. Hey, Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've had quite a nice week, actually. It's been it's been very dull, but I think I've sort of got used to things. And um, yeah, it's uh, there's nothing comic that's really happened to me this week, but I've generally had a nice time. Did you have How a dream you? that you were eating a giant marshmallow? <laughs> I, well, it's funny you should mention that. I did have that dream. Um, yeah. The weird thing was, I, when I woke up, all, my giant marshmallow had gone. Uh, very I, had, I always sleep with a giant marshmallow next to me, just for comfort. Yeah. Uh, and it had gone when I woke up. And I thought, did I? I don't think I did. That would be mad. Um, <laughs> Johnny's looking confused. There's a limerick about a, a man who has a dream about a marshmallow and he wakes up and he's eating his pillow. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, I'm, I'm really glad that you thought Johnny didn't get that because I didn't get it, but I was able to look smart, smart by having you only explain it to him and not me. I and now I've, just... I've undone all that good work, but I Can wanted I to be proud of Can I just take this opportunity yeah. to mm-hmm. um, slag off Edward Lear's limerick writing? Because oh, he's generally... So bad. And that was that silly fellow from Stevenage. Yeah, he... Mate. That's your first line. Where's your punchline? You've just repeated the beginning. Come on, Leah. Yeah, it was like, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you tell something. something. I was like travelling around the country. Is that so funny when you're a comedian? I was on a train and I saw a very strange woman on the train. And the woman offered me a bag of pickled onions. And I said to her, travelling around the country, it's very funny when you're a comedian. Yeah. Bloody Leah. No wonder two of his daughters absolutely hated him. I was going to go as well. Well, we both did it. Um, there's only a limited number of jokes in the world. Now, you've got a theme tune, haven't you, house band? Oh, have we ever? Now, Paddy's been very busy this week. Yeah. And so I thought we'd keep the same music from the week mm-hmm. before, but I'd update the uh, lyrics. Um, I should say, before we play this, Yes. Very important you know. Um, this show is um, free to watch, but we'd really love it if you can drop something into the tip jar. We funded, um, what well, that we, <laughs> Cosmic Champ, um, there, uh, there's loads of venues that w- have, have been paid out this week, have been mm-hmm. venues that uh, would otherwise go under without the kind help of, who knows. But d- look, ben, uh, that w- this money's going everywhere, so oh. give some bloody tips. Because they're running out now because it's a few weeks in and everyone thought, well, this is just what things are like now. No, nobody has any work still. So until we get enough tips, we're not playing the theme tune. <laughs> We've just got enough. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I drew a diagram. Yeah, quick. It's like, look, the, the bar is filling up. Uh, the, no, that's a card. I shouldn't use that. Don't put that on screen. I mean, it does look a bit. Josie's drawn bowls in a shell. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> yeah. It's not anyway. like you, Josie. That's not your material at all. It's not. She's gone blue. I, yeah. I decided to take something of a bawdy turn. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Should we play uh, the theme? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right then. Should we, we, like, we, we need to recreate the energy.
energy, enthusiasm, and sheer joie de vivre of performing on stage. That's why I got involved. I felt it was too flat. Wait, I was too busy. Energy. I was too busy to do it. No, no, I know. Johnny just... redid the vocals. Paddy went... Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the best. Trent, <laughs> Look at that little you're... hand. Oh. Oh wow. I love how we said let's let's kick it off like quickly what? this week and, and now what? we've got the animals out. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Trent's here to tell us off. Do your song. Is the song okay. This is our new theme song that Johnny had one take to do the new vocals for. And it's pretty perfect. Yeah. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. It's the police sitting here and I don't stop. All around town, people trying to get down. It's kind of way. It's the Friday night quarantine show. You watch it on your laptop or maybe your phone. We make jokes and you laugh at home. Or maybe you don't, but we'll never know. There's Luke, who's lovely and very mustachy. Josie, who's fun and lots of laughy. Johnny and the Baptists are the best, we all agree. And two to three guests of very high quality. Oh, there's a third verse, and I've not got it written down, but I'm pretty sure I could remember the words. But it turns out I don't know the third verse. Watch it at home, and please give us care. On the thing Say goodbye to the things you love Oh, what do you think of the theme tune, Luke? So, so Paddy, you yeah. managed to put on glasses that look like you've done, you've an, done Inst- an Instagram thing. Yes, I was about to say. Yeah, well, it's... Uh... <laughs> It's uh well, it's because everyone just realised in the last you know minute and fifteen seconds that I'm a world class music producer, so I figured ah. I should match the look. No, I really like what you're doing, Paddy. You are trying to distract us from giving feedback on the theme. What was that, Luke? Another takedown of Leah? Yeah, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Edward or King? Here we go, bit of both. <laughs> um, look, I, the theme tune is um, obviously awful this week, but. What? Um, right. Well done okay. for trying. Um, I do appreciate you changing the lyric about me from saying I was grumpy right. to Back Back lovely. On. But Johnny, the way you say lovely yes. is, to be honest, a little objectifying in the tone of your voice. Could and you... I don't necessarily appreciate that. Can you describe it? You go, lovely. Well, it's because I was thinking about you. <laughs> yeah. And your bum. Right. Yes. I love your bum. Big old hairy bum. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to everyone who's currently watching, watching this and who hasn't turned off yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm glad of you. I'm frankly confused by what you enjoy. <laughs> so, do you think there's an improvement on last week, though? Like, tonight, Mark Watson's Watsonathon is starting, mm-hmm. and we're linking up with that in yeah. a bit. And I think we're all sort of trying to brace ourselves for that 24 hours so we are your Mate, if you think w- him and me are participating in something over 24 hours no chance no chance what's Lee no. getting sponsored to do uh the mrs what? baby yes who's getting sponsored um she's having a sponsored sleep she said she's gonna wake up as many times she possibly can <laughs> and every time she wakes up she'll be giving money to charity yeah oh. yeah that's good. Um, is, Addy, is what it? are you doing? Um, I am. I, I'm going to just tune up our Eurovision song, make sure it's ready for the big day. Um, oh, yeah. I'm sure I'll be jumping in and out of uh, of the stream over the course of it. Should we um, bring on a proper act? Oh, no. yeah, we probably, we probably, I mean, it's just it's nice to chat, isn't it? It is nice <laughs> to chat, but I, we have to be hopeful that people are still participating in this as if it is a show. Don't forget um, to tip. <laughs> don't forget to tip your waiter even when they don't bring you any food. Now, <laughs> <laughs> um, we are really excited to have you. We are really excited to be here. Um, we also have two wonderful, wonderful guests on tonight. People that we just love and are excited to get to watch watch chat. Um, so I think we should bring on our first act, John Luke. <gasps> <laughs> we can see her but you can't yet that's the exciting thing um well 
ladies and gentlemen, without everyone watching, without any further ado, please welcome oh, onto. There'll be a bit of a do because Paddy's going to do his theme. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah of course. Oh. oh, this is actually quite exciting. You're going to be introduced properly onto the stage with some intro music from Paddy's terrifying little instrument. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Okay, great. That's, that's, that's the weirdest. Okay, great. Cool, guys. Yeah, thanks, everyone. That's <laughs> All right, sweet. Please, you... please welcome Sophie Duca. <laughs> Harry Potter theme. Nailed it. (laughs) 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 That was inconclusive as to whether I'd been introduced. (laughs) Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Something, something, strange time. Something, something, uncertain period. Something, something new normal something something day drinking something something hi um i'm very happy to be here if you don't know me and why would you you're not magic uh my name is sophie duca i am a comedian uh i am a comedian even though as people keep telling me uh, in this uncertain, unprecedented time, comedy doesn't work. Um, Comedy doesn't work, but the other thing that doesn't work is my boyfriend. So I need to um, please donate to whatever tip jar is available. Um, I'm not really sure how to uh, talk to you guys. I assume that even though it's online, we can still do fun things like call and response. So if I ask, uh, is anybody drinking? Yes, you all studiously ignore me. Let's try that one more time. Is anyone drinking? Great, I love that. Uh, Good. Uh, Next one I think I'll ask you is, uh, is anyone here in a relationship? Lovely. Uh, And is any relationship? Yes, the second one is always quieter. Um, I thought in the short time that I have with you guys tonight, I would tell you a little bit about a terrible relationship that I was in uh, for years, like a really, really long time. I was in a really bad relationship for most of my 20s. When I first met them, I thought they were like cool and fun and liberal. Uh, And I got them home and I realized that they were really rigid and hard and intense. Um, And uh, basically over, I think, the years from 2012 to 2019, I was in a really destructive relationship with my vibrator. So um, this was obviously a monogamous relationship. Uh, I'm not one of those girls with uh, fairy wands or clit sticks and magic beans and that sort of thing. I was faithful to this vibrator because he was my first. Now we know that there are two types of sex toy. There's the kind of more analog artisan sex toy, the woody of the sex toy cupboard. Uh, Woody meaning the cowboy because you just want to ride his cute little face. Uh, But there's also the Buzz Lightyear of the sex toy cupboard who's all like infinity and beyond, which is too much energy for a sex toy. Um, When I first saw him in the shop, uh, he had seven speeds. And I should say that no one gets into a bad relationship because they're a bad person. They get into a bad relationship because they are an optimist. I saw this seven speed girthy vibrator on the shelf and I thought, seven speeds? That's as many speeds as Harry Potter books. Mm, But I got him home. And he turned my vagina into a goblet of fire. It was a hard, hard time. So, okay, the speeds of this vibrator. You started off on speed one, which was like a honeybee. It would kind of go... Speed two was more like a honey wasp. It was a little more acerbic. It would go like this. Then at speed three was back to the honeybee, but the bee had started to scat. So it would be like, I couldn't tell if my sex toy was malfunctioning or working too 
well. It was really hard living with Buzz. I used to make up excuses as to why I couldn't wank with him. Uh, and we started having sex less and less, like only on special occasions. So like my birthday, our anniversary, the winter solstice. And I couldn't tell my friends. I know that some of you are sitting there being like, why didn't you just get another one? Why didn't you move on? I was 20 years old. I didn't have the disposable income to be spending on disposable dicks. A dick is for life not just for Christmas. So I thought this was me. I thought I was doomed to this, consigned to this. My whole life would just be sneaking into bed really quietly after gigs so my vibrator wouldn't hear me coming and go, you'll wank so hard, you'll shit, which is the kind of thing Buzz used to say. And then, because this has a happy ending and my time is probably running out, and then one day I was struggling through some solo sex with Buzz in 2019 and everything suddenly just stopped. And for the first 30 seconds, I did nothing. I just sort of lay there with this broom handle sticking out of me. I didn't move, but then I tapped him and he died inside of me. Buzz had come to the end of his life and it felt amazing. I felt like every little girl who suddenly rolls out from underneath her sugar daddy. I felt like Melania Trump will one day feel when she pushes off Donald Trump's rigor mortis cheeseburger cadaver. I felt like Anne of Cleves, who was the fourth consort of Henry VIII and outlived him and all his other wives. Yas, queen! As I pulled that vibrator out of my vulva, I felt like I was King Arthur releasing the sword and the stone. And when I got it out of me, everything was amazing. The air was fresh the colors were brighter. I looked at my vibrator and I screamed at it. I am alive, bitch! He looked so much smaller in death. They often do. I've been so good, Juker, and I assume that is five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, turning the gig blue. I'm so sorry. No, we, were we were thrilled. We were thrilled. It's blue, the warmest color. <laughs> oh, looks he looks appalled and upset with me. Who does? Luke. Yeah. No, I'm delighted. That's, that's just his face. He's Aaron. got resting appalled and upset. Yeah, face. it's true. I have a resting bitch personality. That's my <laughs> problem. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, Josie, you've been picked to the turning boardy post. There's me. Thinking I could get away with the odd risque illusion. <laughs> I thought it was absolutely wonderful. I didn't understand what any of it was about, um, but it, <laughs> it sounded just delightful. <laughs> Johnny there doing a wonderful impression of a dad. Um. <laughs> I got it. I've seen him before. <laughs> Does, I, I feel that lockdown has added 10 years onto my age in every way. So I feel like... I came into lockdown in my sort of mid thirties and then now I'm sort of absolutely in my late forties in terms of like, I don't know. I'm tired. I'm, I'm more tired than before. I don't know. Well, that went really far and I'm really glad we had some good banter. <laughs> now it's my turn to stand up. I'm okay. I'm going to get out of the way and I'm going to eat my mini cheddars. <laughs> and now Please. the mix. Welcome to the screen with introduction from Paddy Jervers of Johnny and the Baptists. It's Josie Long. Hooray! What was that? It was it was meant to be the circus that you know the you know the do 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 do. It's your my favourite clown, but the good kind. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, I uh, I am really excited to be doing this gig. I was excited to see everyone uh, that I know, and I'm excited the idea that I'm performing to people. Um, Luke is very upset that Paddy has said that I'm his favourite clown when Luke trained professionally to become a clown. But can Luke do this? <laughs> I didn't. I couldn't work out if I was trying to pull a rope towards me or pretend to be a cat. <laughs> so be fair to him. Credit where credit's due. He's doing it better than I was. All right, all right. Come on, it's showing off now. 
showing off. Um, hello. I thought this week um, I could give you a lock, a lockdown, a rundown on some of the most important things that have been happening uh, this week. So, this week in toys. <laughs> this week in toys, you'll be sad to know Daddy Pig lost his arm again. After initially losing it in a bout of what my daughter could not explain, but which experts have presumed was her just fucking snapping it off, <laughs> Daddy Pig was able to go into emergency surgery with what was claimed was super glue. Although he recovered very quickly, the arm came instantly off. What I'm saying is, don't send someone else to the shop to buy super glue for you. Daddy Pig, how are you feeling? Well, obviously, I'm feeling a little bit emasculated. I'm a right-handed pig. And my character, if you see me on the show, there's a lot of speculation online that I voted Tory. Uh, that's kind of the character I seem to portray. My character likes to presume to be an expert in everything. Now, I cannot even masturbate in front of Mummy Pig, which was her favourite. Trying to be bawdy. Thank you very much for coming <laughs> on the show, Daddy Pig. I can't help but notice you are leaking water. Yes, I was given a <laughs> bath outdoors in some rainwater. Thank you very much for coming on the show, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig there. Uh, now, uh, further news in toys. Updates. The following things are now considered toys. This piece of foil. <laughs> Bubbles. Mummy's yoga ball that she needs. <laughs> the following things are no longer acceptable. A teething ring, even though she's teething. And finally, on this program, we'd like to give a little culture section before moving on to something rather sad. Um, in culture, uh, I'd like to invite Baby Big Dinosaur to review the new show, Jojo and Gran Gran. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's about a young girl going to visit her grandma. We can presume because she's looked after by her grandma one day a week in one of these kind of modern child care arrangements. Uh, the grandma is very kind, very thoughtful, or often says, time for a grand-grand plan, uh, which is a little fun part. Uh, I do enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. I like to speculate about grand-grand. Uh, she, I think, is a comrade. I also kind of get a vibe from her that she's had her fair share of admirers in the past. So, yes, Jojo and Grand Grand, big fan, except for when uh, they cut to pre-recorded Vox Pops with actual children. Then what I like to do is to join uh, Mrs. Baby on the couch by shouting, No! Excuse me! No! Jojo and Grand Grand, please! No! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Not you! Jojo and Grand Grand! No! <laughs> Thank you very much, Baby Big Dinosaur. It was great to hear from you, as ever, uh, in our cultural slot. Now, ending the show today is something of a sad report. As we all know, Mummy Horsey disappeared for the best part of two days this week. And Daddy Horsey, Baby Horsey and Brother Horsey were all absolutely <laughs> devastated by this news we spent a good portion of yesterday morning searching for mummy horsey was she on top of the bookcase no she wasn't was she underneath the big chair no she wasn't was she hidden inside the upholstery of the sofa where we have to be real some of her children had often stayed no she wasn't well in a world exclusive we can now have a conversation with mummy horsey herself mummy horsey where have you been? Well, it's a funny story. I ended up underneath the sofa. Right, how did that happen? Who fucking knows? Well, thanks very much for that. <laughs> Glad to clear that up. Uh, last uh, and now time for Art in Review. This week's picture really summing up some of the frustrations of quarantine. Also a mixed media image using a found drawing of Hey Dougie, 
one of the 15 times I've been asked to draw it of late. Thank you so much to everyone watching. And I'm going to go back to John Luke in the studio. John Luke. Thank you, John. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Uh, this is my favourite show. Josie's <laughs> uh, news, toys news and, and Zother's news is uh, wonderful. Uh, lovely. Luke. Yeah. Luke, you've got a little something just on your, you've got a little, you're just on your note, you've got a little, you've got, yeah, you've got, it, it just, you've got it. Right, thank you. I see what he's doing, he wants to be my favourite clown again. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's, he's doing pretty well, he's doing the fingers, I love it, oh yeah, this is my favourite bit, love it. This is oh, called the ladder? Yeah, I have oh. been um, during lockdown having various anxiety dreams about being back at uh, clown school. So that's uh, ah. that's that's something. Um, Shall we carry on with the show? Because we've got we've got to wrap it up quickly today, haven't we? Because of the old uh, old stream and everything, we've got to get to the gold. Or Shall carry we go on to the next guest? Yeah, yeah well, well I'll, I mean, I've got a little set. <laughs> I thought, oh, I thought, it's just you said you said on the on Stop. the chat earlier that you weren't going to do one. I'm sorry. sorry. Are we going to tell everyone our secret business? No, that was a planning meeting. Okay. Can we tell the bit about Paddy's vicar? <laughs> yeah, that's quite funny. Okay. Paddy said that he wanted to have a new career as a bawdy vicar. <laughs> so everyone's oh, dipping a toe in you. the blue. Yeah, there you go. We're all doing it. It's a very blue evening. <laughs> it's my pleasure and my joy to introduce back onto your screens everybody's favourite trained clown, John Luke Roberts. Well, that's lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm. Uh, they say that it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. But it is better than it is to have loved and lost to be able to turn into an eagle at will. But it is worse than it is to have never loved at all the, uh, to walk into a room and see two dogs having sex in the missionary position. But, but it is better, I think it be it's better, to, better than it is to have never loved at all, but not as good as it is to have loved and lost, uh, to uh, Cress. Cress is in, in the middle there. Um, also in the middle with Cress, you've got a, a, a boiled egg omelette. That's, that's exactly in the middle of the two. Uh, that's an omelette you, which you, you make omelette normally, but the filling is sliced boiled egg it, it's a lot of egg but it's, it's it's completely bearable but it is better than it is to have loved and lost to find a pound on the street and then bend over to pick it up and find when you try and pick it up that somebody's glued it to the floor but but you pick up the paving stone with it and you discover in that moment that you are super strong wow that's pretty that's pretty good but it's worse it's better it's worse it's worse than it is to have never loved at all, to put your hand into your pocket of a jacket you haven't worn for a while and find in there a, um, a £20 note. But, and you take out the £20 note and it, you see that the pound, it's a foreign currency and the picture on the note is, is of you. And in that moment you realise that you are the, you're the monarch of a, of a country and you'd forgotten about it and you haven't been there for a long time. And you've left, let your people down. You, you, you've, you've really let them down. But it's bet, it's is better. It's worse than it is to have loved and lost, but better than it is to have never loved at all. To an episode, uh, to watch an episode of Doctors. That's in the middle too. Um, and it's better, better than it is to have. I'm tr sorry, I'm trying to rank them. There's quite a lot of them to. Uh, it's everything. I'm trying to rank everything. Um, it, better than that. Better than to have never. To have loved, loved and lost, better than to have loved and lost, is um, to uh, to f uh, to find an omelette station in the hotel you're staying in. But the omelette station, the omelettes pull up to it, and then you climb aboard and you travel around on the omelette. That's better. Than to, but it's worse than, than it is to have never loved at all. To, to but try and buy normal glue, but accidentally get apple glue, which is the glue they use to put the stickers on on the apples you can't it's very you can't really use them for anything it's also pretty bad pretty but it's worse than it is to have never loved at all to uh 
to be graffitiing on a wall, uh, like a rudimentary picture of a of a cock. And as you're doing it to fight a policeman uh, or a police, uh, yeah, a policeman comes up and says, "Oh, you, you're doing that. How dare you be doing? You, you've been looking at my cock. You have, and you, I don't understand what you mean." And the policeman takes his trousers down, and you see that his penis is exactly the same. It's it, it's very rudimentarily drawn, and it's exactly the same proportions, exactly the same shape as the thing you've been drawing, and you don't know what to do because he's very angry. But you did this by chance and you have committed a crime but not the very specific crime that he thinks you've uh committed but it is better than it is to um to to have loved and lost um to to have butter that spreads with no trouble um so that's me uh, i've been john Luke roberts so I'll, after this bit i'll do a little joke do a little joke um, it turns out french bulldogs is not an instruction <laughs> I regret. <laughs> absolutely lovely yeah, and thank you for finally clearing up some of those rankings. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm glad. I'm glad I managed to do it. Yeah, yeah. You're such a fantastic writer and and, and comedian. But like, thank, I just, thank yeah. you, Josie, for thank you for not just leaving me down in the middle there, just saying I'm a fantastic writer. <laughs> yes, it's a compliment, but is it a backhanded one? Is there it was not meant to be. Or? It was not meant to be. That is all I can say, and all I will be saying. On the matter. Sorry, I've I've got a sneeze. How long did you train as a clown for? Was it two two years? Two uh to uh to um to um Oh, it's a lemon now. It's a lemon nose. It's a, uh, they don't actually, that's discouraged in school. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> discouraged. Yeah, lemon now. Really? But you're, you're, a, you're a rebel. I am now, yes, rebel. He's a rebel. Right. It's time. We need to announce our oh, final wonderful headline. Yes. Uh, it's, it's the wonderful, extraordinary Mrs. Barbara Nice, all the way from the Midlands, mm -hmm. joining us today. Um, Paddy is going to play a little uh, a little song. If uh, if Barbara, if you could turn on your microphone. I, and, I, hope I have done. Uh, and I camera. We can hear you, but we can't see you yet. Oh, ca all right. Camera. Should I do camera now? Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Oh, <laughs> hi, everybody. How are you, Paddy? How are you, love? Lovely I'm to all right, Barbara. Wow. Lovely to see you. Hiya. Oh, what are you? now? Does Paddy play some music? Paddy yes. plays you yeah. on. Come on, Paddy. Bob, smash all it. Right, right. Come on, okay. uh... <laughs> A letter from America. America. <laughs> <laughs> you go. Nice, I am. Very nice to men's services because all those things are very important in what's going on. Isn't it? We love the post and all that kind of stuff. And milkmen are coming back. I don't know whether you know that. They never went away with me anyway. I've always had a milkman. Now, it's very nice to be here. And I've just written down some stuff to say. Because I don't know about you. I'm finding my brain's gone very mushy with all this. If you feel you're at home and you feel your brain's a bit mushy sometimes, say, my brain's piggy mushy sometimes, Barbara. One, two, three. I know, kids, I know. So I'm reading it. I don't know why I'm reading this bit because I always say this. Hiya, kids. Uh, Barbara Nice here. Barbara's in strides at Nice as in the biscuit. How are you doing? Now, this has been good tonight. We're raising money because a lot of these people, they can't jig or nothing like that. We've got to keep piggy and laughing. We should be essential service, really. We've got to keep laughing, Cox. We've all we've got left. And I am very glad of the company when they said, will you come on the shambles? I said, go on then. I've been on the shambles before of course but that was a long time ago when I was on the Wirral I said I'll come back on the shambles yeah because I'm glad of the I'm glad of the company today because it's been one of them days are you finding you're up and down are people up and down if you're up and down say we're up and we're down Barbara I know it's like we're on a, an emotional corona coaster that's not mine. I heard that on a bus. Not that I'm going on many buses. I'm not on your essential journeys I'm very very fed up today because I, I don't think I've been this fed up since we lost Woolworths, really, because 
I do want to be part of getting involved with something and I'm doing my picking best. And I applied to go, you know, this fruit picking, you know, the glut of, because they can't get the people over no more. And I got a letter come back today, I was picking up, but they said it was too old, you know. Awful, isn't it? Lockdown, they won't be satisfied to the likes of me, a butt picking down. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get a necklace. I'm sorry to get political. I'm going to get a necklace made with the words, with the letters, R U C C I T A T E. That's what you want. That's what I want you to do to me. R U S C I T. As you can see, what I'm trying to do: resuscitate, 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 resuscitate. So they'll see it on a necklace around my neck. Um, it's been going on a long time, and it's been going on quite a lot longer than you thought it would be doing. I'll tell you how long it's been going on, kids, and you can Google this and you think, Pigginette Barbara's right. They've run out of episodes on the archers. That I'm telling you, Johnny, that lot. That's how pigging long it's been going on. They stuck, they're going back to bloody, uh, what's his name, Gabriel Times, which is a pigging long time ago. And what day is it? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Times all over the place. You've know, got to try and remember the routines. Now, our bins go out. They come on a Friday morning, so you've got to take them out Thursday night. And I'm thinking, well, I pig him, remember, well, I pig him, remember. And I reckon the rest of the street were thinking, will she remember? Because on a Thursday night, when I take the bins out, people are clapping me. And then at the beginning, I was thinking, well, this is quite nice, but is it patronising? Do you know what I mean? And is it picking patronising? And then I talked to the lad across the street. He said, no, Barbara, it's, it's, not, it's nothing to do with you, this. It's for key workers. So I said, Timson's good, because I like what they're doing, you know, with the convicts and the resoling of your shoes, you know. You, that's, you know, that, use your picking shoes again. He said, it's nothing to do with that. I said, is it, oh, what's it to do with? He said, it's to do with the frontline workers and all that kind of stuff. Without, oh, for what's pigging going on? All the shops we've lost, you know, BHSS and all that. Never trust a fella called Philip Green. Tell you that for nothing. And after all this is finished, I'm asking you now, will, will M&S still be there, Marks and Sparks? I don't think so. They're on their arse before, weren't they, love? Where are we going to go for knickers and crisps? That's what you've got to act. No, I'm sorry, there's people very worried about that. I know it's pigging awful. And then he said, it's nothing to do with shops closing, Dad. all these frontline workers, you know, NHS, carers, people lost the, the jobs. Not lost the jobs, no, losing their lives at work. And I say, it's all very well clapping, but they could do with PPE, you know, proper picking equipment. They might want to silence me for saying that kind of thing. I don't pick and care. I'm going to, you can't say nothing. They know, they'll know I've said that now, Boris Picking Johnson. you will know I've said it. They'll say, strike her off. Get rid of it. You can't do nothing anymore. Every move you make, every da da da, every da da da, they're watching you, which is a good thing and a bad thing because my next door neighbour, Vera, she couldn't find her keys the other day and they rang her up, you know, the Secret Service and said, they are in your other handbag. Which is a good, because our life, Shing and Yang, Fen and Shui, start skiing up. Just before we go, I've been waiting, right, I, I like the fact that Josie was talking to little objects, because at the, at, this is who I'm, I'm self-isolating with this pheasant. Where have you been? Out. I keep telling it, you shouldn't go pigging out. Where have you been? On the park. What have you been doing on the pigging park? On the, what, on the gym equipment? Horizontal bars, you should not be going on the horizontal bars. Why don't you exercise at home like everybody pigging else is doing? What's wrong with Joe Wiley? Hurts the back of your legs. You can't walk. You're not supposed to be pigging walking, I've told you. We can walk again. Who's told you this? Boris Johnson. Why, what's he said to you? He said the pig's pigging flattening. He said he's going under the peak. What's he picking talking about? <laughs> We're going to go walking down a pasture. <laughs> who is? <laughs> you and who else? <laughs> your friends, your animal friends, your animal kingdom friends. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're taking over. <laughs> the bird the bird song has been picking loud. <laughs> Badgers have been seen at Sheffield Station. I wonder where they were setting off to. 
We're living the vida loca. Right, what are we going to have to drink? Uh, Bleach? No, I've told you what Donald Trump said wasn't right. Well, do you know picking good? Uh, uh, so, Flora. Uh, where did you get so Flora from? Uh, uh, Save us. Right. What flavour? Uh, uh, Freesia. Right. It's a Friday night after all. <laughs> we make the presents up in Freesia. See you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Live in the vida loca. <laughs> All right, love. Just lovely to see you. Oh, oh bro, thank you so, so much. <laughs> it was fantastic. Cheers. <laughs> well, very good help. <laughs> you, my kids, and and to everybody, and do put and some, do put piggy, some piggy, money piggy money in. in. There's no There's work. no work till either 2023. I'm sorry to tell you that. <laughs> 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 it's a pheasant talk. <laughs> Not so <laughs> right, sorry to tell you. 20. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 did, what did she say? 2023. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josie, you're my favourite clown. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Party. So, nice. All we've got left now is to have a song from our house band. Mm -hmm. Our house band. Do we have time? Do we have time? Yeah. No. Oh, two minutes. We've got oh, two minutes. Okay. We've got a, we'll do a quick this one. Is a, this oldie, is a, an oldie, but a goodie. Um, 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 it's neither. It's, it's neither. Uh, it's, uh, new it's, it's new and weak. New no, and weak. No, let's not. just play Let's just play it. This song's called Soup. Song's called Soup. And it's written and in, it's the written key, in the key of, of Ed. Incorrect. Okay. G. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Fishy swaz is cold for your best as fish. There's pea and lentil and peas give your swish. Miso is fun, chowder's a laugh. You can eat oxtail in the bath. I love chicken noodle, mushroom, of course. Gumbo, oh, we we are are of course. Pumpkin is goopy, broth is thin. Eat your just soup and start, start to sing. sing. One, two, three. It's, it's a, a meal, meal you drink, drink, a drink, drink, you drink, you eat, eat a hearty, hearty sloppy soupy, soupy treat. treat. You don't need teeth, you don't need friends. <laughs> soup is all you need. It's a harmony <laughs> of veg and meat. A liquid gastromeat. Too great, too great. Clap your hands and clap your feet. Soup is all you need. Soup! How was that? The is not dead. <laughs> a, gentle, a gentle song about soup, mm. which only becomes bawdy when you realise that soup oh. is slang for... Sex! So when people hear about that, they really understand it in a different context. It, in, in my head, it means bum. <laughs> I'm just wondering what croutons are. Croutons? I think that's the end of the show, isn't it? Wait, so what we're doing now is we're going to be joining in with Mark Watson's live stream, I think. Yeah. Anyone watching, if you want to get involved. Daddy Pig, oh, I'm ever so excited. I'm can we just stress, any money donated to Watson's live stream will be going to charity. Now, any money donated to us will not. So please do donate to us and not just to charity. Charity is no substitute for justice withheld. But also please give to charity. He's raising money for the NHS. I mean, it's yeah, fucking the fifth round. Yeah, come on, Luke. Yeah, Luke, come on. Give <laughs> <laughs> him a break. Come on, Luke. Okay. I can hear oh. you, Trent. Currently listening to Trent secretly. Uh, Trent is what we all call the demon who has possessed us all. <laughs> Go on, Trent. Uh, right. The Lord is of Trent, Sin is telling us lying? chat amongst ourselves. Are we still on air? Oh, we oh, are great. Still oh, we are live. <laughs> okay. Twenty twenty one. I'd like to say that I don't think now is the time to criticise the government for the fact that they've been murderous in... <laughs> Sorry, Sir Keir Starmer, ladies and gentlemen, Sir Keir Starmer. <laughs> Lovely bit of stuff. Lovely bit of stuff. Um... It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it must be sucks. It must be uh, sucks. 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 Sucks.
Welcome what? to the house of Suggs. Now da, I've got da, da, da. Strictly Come Dancing has just ended, and now it's Strictly Takes Two. I, I think thought, there's more. I, you know, you remember when you were little and you'd watch Red Nose Day, and it would go over to BBC Two when the news was on. Yeah, yeah. And it would be kind of scrappy, and it would be weird. And you're sure a lot of people turned off. It feels like that. <laughs> I feel like this is currently being played in a film. I don't know, like what's going on. It's I... the death of live comedy. No, that was. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, oh, Barbara's here, still yeah. here. I'm here. Yeah. How are you, my darling? Oh, very good, thank you. Are you enjoying? Um, are you enjoying this weird bit of extra show? <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. It's relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of relaxing. <laughs> then you're waiting to do this Mark thing, then? I think so. Yeah, we're in sort of internet limbo at the moment, I think, but... Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the end of that. Paddy, should we do a little song? Yeah, sure, dude. What, what, what are you in the mood for? I am in the mood for dumplings. Do we have a dumpling song? I know uh, we don't. We, um, could, uh, we, <laughs> we could try one. Why don't we do a little song I like to call Quentin Blake? Because that's the name of the song. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to... I, I'm going to have to just keep time on my foot and ignore everything you're saying. Okay, so... That's how I normally play. All right. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Quentin Blake is coming up my garden. Quentin Blake is trampling my chrysanthemums. Quentin Blake is brandishing a hammer. Quentin Blake is smashing up my windows. Quentin Blake is wearing his pajamas. Quentin Blake is covered in his own blood. Quentin Blake is hammering my front door. Quentin Blake is calling out his own name. Quentin Blake thinks we are in the attic. Quentin Blake is pretty sure we're in the attic. God, not this is time, Blake. Blake. We're, we're not in, in the, the attic. attic. Take, Take that, that Blake. Blake. We, we would do that, that a third time. time. Quentin, Quentin Blake doesn't, doesn't know we're in the closet. In the closet. It's, it's so, so silent. silent. You could hear a pin drop. Now ball, now ball. ball. Michael, Michael ball comes flying. Michael ball, ball, ball has ball. let down from, from the ceiling. ceiling. Michael, Michael ball, ball is wielding a machete. Quentin strikes balls. No match for the Quentin. Quentin sees us. Quentin hears us. No, Blake, stop, Blake, for the love of God, Blake. That was like a nightmare of mine. I, you sounded so. As far as I was concerned, you were. Uh, uh, <laughs> Shoo! Bless you. Oh, anyone God. can do it. I've just worked out my favourite clown. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, in, uh, uh, as far as I was concerned, we were exactly in time. I wonder well, I if think that we might have worked out a trick there because I was just keeping time with my foot and ignoring everything you were singing because you were singing on a delay. And your sister has just texted me again saying that was absolutely perfect timing. Well, and the producer is saying this is the most in time been in any week. Um, and he, he was, bear in mind, he's produced all of our live shows for the last 12 years. But also and... bear in mind that he died 100 years ago today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that is problematic. Yeah. <laughs> John well, Luke, that was a bit you... of fun. It we was... might have a system now. This is cool. Yeah, we should, um, we'll, we'll only do that song. Yeah. What's interesting is uh, John Luke and Josie complained bitterly that yeah. we try and overtake the presenting, but just disappeared I'm when just, uh, it got well, hard. Can I say I, I just gave up. was meant to start doing steam. my challenge for Mark's show. And yeah. so I'm trying to do that at the same time as um, being present. But as well, this I've, isn't... I, I'm, well, so I'm, trying, I'm going off and doing that, and then I'm coming back and, you know... Ready? Well, go on. This is the hit, apparently. Okay. Listen to this. No, no, don't. That's our <laughs> in-joke. They won't understand. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So 
still unequal, we still bow down to the queen. We'd love to ditch the royals and their elitist regime. They're too popular to topple, their reign goes on and on. And if that wasn't bad enough, the queen of all the swans. And so, and so we'll nationalize the, the swans, free them from the If they can break your arm, then we can break their chains. Then we'll turn them on An army made of swans. We'll give them small guitars, and we'll teach them protest songs. And they'll go honk, 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 free the people, honk, 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 give us more bread. Fight the swans, they'll emancipate us too. The Swan Liberation Army will make all our dreams come true. Save the NHS, bring back crystal meals, then they'll send VHS and a feather left wing zeal. But the swans have gone so fucking, fucking mad, mad. and everything's gone wrong. They're honking and biting and hissing and fucking everything's covered in swans. The power's gone through their heads and their heads are really small. We need actual social reform. But instead we've got angry swans and they go honk, 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 honk. Hong Kong, we're in charge now. We're in charge now. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. No, they're talking. Hong Kong, where's my bread? Swans. You like me joining in? I loved you joining in. Paddy, how do you feel? It was so stressful. I've got in, literally in my ear just you going, and swan, and swan, <laughs> and cop. I, I feel I only lost the words when Trent was talking to the technician of the Watson uh, uh, the, the Mark Watson show and I started singing what they were saying <laughs> <laughs> but what they were saying was can you fill for a bit so I said swans and fill for a bit <laughs> wish I was a wizard <laughs> did I say that out loud yeah you did uh, Luke, to fill the time, I'd like you to rank the following sources. Uh-huh. Oh. Bechamel. I don't think, for one better words, we have the bakers. No. Hey! Hey! Oh, look, it's Mark. Oh, hi, guys. Hey. Hello. Hi, Mark. Hey, um, dude. Hey. Sorry about that bit of business earlier, but the thing is, I didn't know if you were on or not. You did like a very difficult... It was like a very difficult... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on it, yeah. You're on now, right? Yeah. You're on now, right? Yeah. Just to let you know, I think uh that song uh is uh like every other song, copyright, which means we can't do that on Twitch. It was actually the only rule we were all told before coming on here was don't do any copyrighted music. Yeah. I do, I do it know. was under 30 seconds, so you don't have to do PRS. I think we just made those noises in that order by chance. Yes. Yeah. So, so by uh, UK yeah. satire and parody laws, yep. you can do up to like 29 seconds of something. Yeah. Oh, we got away with it. So we got oh, okay. All right. We're away. okay. And yeah. UK saltire and parity laws mean that we could have done it in front of a Scottish flag holding a bird. Luke, I'm doing your job for you. Yeah, look at that. That's a joke about satire versus saltire. Uh, the song was Chelsea Dagger, or at least it might have been if it wasn't copyright, but what is the band that's driving me mad? Start the, with Fratellis. the Fratellis. The Fratellis. The Fratellis is what I was after. Um, now, as some of you... As some of you pointed out, we actually were in the opposite position from before. Where we can, we can they are see. there. You can hear oh. the voices of Josie Wong, John Luke Roberts, and I think Johnny and the Baptist. I think oh, that yeah. is that all right? You are. 
Yes. Yeah, we're all here. Um, John Luke, would you like to talk about, I mean, we can't currently see your face, but most people can visualise your face or Google you or imagine you. Um, can, would you like to describe what you're doing over this 24-hour period? Um, well, I've all, I'm, 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 I'm a bit, I'm very anxious about it at the moment. Um, I've set up uh, uh, various tweets, which if you like them, I'll write a thing for each like. Um, I yes, did this you, a little you, while ago and it got out of hand. And it's yes, you did it your thing was one tweet equals one alternative dystopia and it went to more than a thousand. You had a terrible life. Is that right? Yes, it was. It was a lot of um, it was a lot of pressure. Uh, so I thought I'd do three of those at the same time. Um, Very good. Go on to Twitter uh, when you've got a moment. You might be busy watching this. Look at John Luke Roberts's Twitter and set him one of the challenges that he's uh, opened himself up to. It's also true to say, John Luke, isn't it? That in one of these marathon shows, you try to eat a lemon every 15 minutes or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I ate for Four lemons. He was um, hospitalised, wasn't he? I wasn't hospitalised. I wasn't, about, I wasn't well. Um, Mark, uh, how are you? Josie, do you know what? I'm all right. and all the better for hearing your voice and seeing an approximation of your face. Um, you're actually coming, you're doing one of the pep talks later, I think. Is that right? Yes, in about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. How are you? Because you've got a baby and all sorts, and it's tricky, isn't it? Well, it's not a baby anymore. She's getting on, but nonetheless, she's what's she? Uh, she's sixty-one. Now. She's sixty-one. Yeah, but she's very immature. Um, she'll <laughs> be she? two in a month. It's it's a funny thing because it is materially very difficult, and we have no time to work. But at the same time, I'm constantly trying to be like, there are people who have ten kids who live in a dodgy flat, and they've got ten. Kids. And they've got 10 kids, you know, so I'm trying to be like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, well, I'll talk about this to Rufus. There was oh this sort of underlying... Sorry. Sorry? There was a woman uh, who lived in a shoe. And she had so many children, yeah. she didn't know what to do. That's right, but that then, wasn't based on fact, actually. They, they did a deep dive into it on both <laughs> Um Nonetheless, you are right. We've already... Rufus and I have already covered the fact that it is quite... Um, you feel sheepish about complaining about stuff when we're all aware many people are in worse situations. But by doing a thing with charity involved... I'm hoping to salve my conscience and I'm going to moan for the rest of this panda, even if it's another yes. 10 years. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, no, well, less than 30 seconds, yeah. Now, um, we're now in the first situation in the show, and it won't be the last, where I have multiple things to juggle. Uh, Gary Delaney is meant to be coming on shortly because I have a, 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 a ruse of having some actual comedians on every now and again who do jokes so that we all feel better about this. Um, <laughs> but then the bakers, are, uh, the phrase, do we have the bakers, is still sort of... <laughs> <laughs> wafting around the place um and i don't oh we, there's going to be a bake-off with you know Bryony, the bristolian one from a couple of series back yeah, and also she my great. She, she's my favorite one apart from of course uh michael who is also one so they're going to set a baking challenge except i don't know if they are because i don't know where the bakers are and i also don't know where gary delaney is but i do know i've only got six minutes to go and key will be counted down to the first hour mark um, well, neither of them are Selassie, are they? That's that's my. <laughs> oh no! I suppose you, you can heckle a lot of people by saying you're not Selassie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone on the Twitch is now saying, "Do we have the bakers? Do we have the bakers?" I think there's, <laughs> it seems like there's a culture on Twitch where everyone repeats the same thing over and over again. And someone told me if you say, "Can we hype this?" you get loads more of that. And I'm not sure what that means or what, what I would do, but let's see. Can we hype the bakers, please, yeah, or something? I've got I've got a little instrument. I could probably do like a sort of like a sort of like like a like a riser, like a sort of dubstep build. Like like all right, so like, yeah. 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 like that. Very nice. Um, what I will say is the 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 hyping thing does seem to work because about seventy eight people have written hype bakers or hype or bakers, and I'm just reminded of how old I am because I haven't really been on Twitch before, and I feel ninety four. But the fact is. I don't, I'm going to check my phone, bakers-wise, because my instinct is to get Delaney on to do some actual jokes for us, because I feel like there might have been people tuning in that were hoping for a comedy show out of this. Um, let's have a little look at my uh, text messages. Lots of text messages, in all fairness. None of them pertinent, though. So as far well, as I just, know... In general, wish you very well for your endeavour. For your endeavour. Oh, Josie, you can... Uh, someone's asked, do we have Tom Baker? No, as far as I'm concerned, we don't have any bakers. Josie, um... You, as you know, are one of my favourite comedians and uh, goes for everyone that's there, in fact. And I'm very grateful to have all of you sort of mooching about. Um, go to John Luke's Twitter thing. 
as I say, and check out his challenge. And we will see Josie, I think, her actual face in a bit. Yeah, nearer to um, 11 than 12 due to the uh, child issue. It'll be near 11 than 12, although I say that with the caveat that quite obviously I've really lost control of this and we're not an hour in yet. <laughs> for now, I th- well, I suppose for now it's good, not exactly goodbye to the Cosmic Shambles because they still will be there in the ether. It's more, you know, I, I don't know what the phrase is. What's the word for when you say um, Now, so well. someone, several people pointed out that um, Matt, it would be appropriate to chase Matt Baker along with Lazenby. So uh, there, there is a sort of... Um, Someone says, I don't know what's going on. Don't worry about that, mate. That's neither here nor there. Um, so I, um, it's not clear what to do next from my point of view because I don't know whether to try to introduce Gary, who was meant to be on 10 minutes before the hour. Baker. Cheryl Baker. Cheryl Baker. I'll, I'll, at the moment, I would take anyone called Baker or anyone that was a Baker. Um, I'm just, just, just going to bid you good luck and we're going to go, I think. Good luck and good night. I, well, it's good luck and good night, I suppose, but it's it's more good luck, isn't it? Because it's not quite good night yet, because I'm going to see some of you again, especially you, Josie. Good night, yes. Johnny. See you soon, Luke, and Bye. see you soon, Josie. And you've got to remember Bye. our saying, never die. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye.